Hello again folks, I am Blonty and yes, this morning I of course have been out and got myself the latest iDevice thingy uh, because I'm a complete gadget hole, but in today's video I'm going to show you something else that is an accessory for an iDevice thingy that some of you may find useful, a teleprompter as a matter of fact. Now, from time to time I get people asking me if I write scripts for my videos or if I read off a teleprompter or if I just ad-lib it at all. Uh, well, there's your proof right there. Sometimes I ad-lib. Um, Sometimes I work off scripts, like when I'm doing voice service review, that's often scripted so I can get, you know, the information I want to get in there and all that sort of stuff. But when I'm doing stuff to camera, it's usually ad-libbed or me trying to remember a script I wrote or working off notes. And uh, it's been many, many a time that I've wished I had a cheap, inexpensive, easy to use teleprompter system. Uh, and until relatively recently, they were not cheap and easy to use. They were wildly expensive. But at the digital show uh, this past weekend just gone, a big photography industry uh, show thingy, I ran into something that I've run into a few times before, but this time I actually got some hands on with a little playtime and talking to the guy who's behind it, uh, so to speak, or in front of it, really. Uh, anyway, check out the prompter. Uh, you might find it useful for your own YouTube videos, particularly if you're not... Uh, um, what's the word? Skilled at um, improv. See what I did there. I'm Richard from Prompted Teleprompters, and I'm here at the Dragon Image stand, uh, where Dragon Image resell the Prompted Teleprompter. It works with an iPad, and the main use of a teleprompter is to be able to record yourself or a person uh, without having to memorize your lines. So all you're doing is reading the text off the screen and uh, in this way you can maintain eye contact with the lens. So if I take this hood off, so the camera shoots through the glass, the camera does not see the text, you see the text and you can just read it off. The prompted teleprompter uses an iPad, so the iPad application reverses the text, you simply paste it onto the base, put the glass into the groove at the back here, cover over the top. This is a glare cover, so you stop the reflections on the glass. The app also allows you to remote control with a device such as an iPod Touch. So you can start, stop it. So if you're on your own, you can stand in front of it and remote control the text from an iPod Touch or an iPhone or another iPad if you wish to. So it's simple. Uh, it's reselling at uh, $289. So we decided to keep the price down to make it affordable so everybody can have one. We've, we've kept the hood nice and open so you, if you've got a big matte box in front of your camera or if you have a production camera and one big shoulder mount cameras or even if you've got a smaller camera like the 5D here or even smaller than that then you can you, you can put it behind the uh, behind the glass and it's very simple. A lot of professionals use it. Do you think you can mount this on rails so if someone's shooting from a shoulder rig? You certainly can absolutely. Uh, rail system would go underneath. As, as I mentioned, this, the, the base uses a quarter inch screw thread, which is a standard one. Then you just get your rail system, put it all onto your tripod. It's no problem at all. In fact, that's been done quite often by the, the, the network stations, yes. So there you go. That was the prompted. And as the dude told you, it's at uh, dragonimage.com.au. Uh, if you're in Australia, if you're elsewhere in the world, I don't know, Google it or something, I guess. I don't know whether Dragon Image ship internationally. You could always check it out. Um, but yeah, I think I might have to get myself one of those because there's a lot of times when I do stuff in front of the camera where working from a teleprompter would make my life a little bit easier um, as far as delivering uh, long streams of complex information and not forgetting stuff. And if I want to phrase things a certain way, I don't have to try and remember it because my memory is buggered, really. Um, and, you know, I could work when I'm drunk if I have a teleprompter which is always a bonus. I could even get you guys to send in scripts that I don't look at before I get drunk and then put on the teleprompter and try and read live. That'd be kind of adventurous, wouldn't it? That wrought with danger and, and disaster looming like a sword of Damocles above my head. But fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time. That might be fun, actually. Blunty's teleprompted drunk vlogs. I have to come up with a catchier name for it, but it might be fun.